Alright, what is going on, you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? The first thing I get to do, the first thing I get to see is a mirror match. Show me how stupid this is about to look. Almost every mirror match that has ever existed has always looked fairly damn silly. You know what would be sick? Tekken had a system in place where you could choose a variety of artwork to set as your like your loading screen background for your character. So everybody could kind of customize uh, their loading screen. Oh my lord, make that go away. Like, yeah, let me just... I don't want to watch the match. I want this absolutely enormous... Oh god, what is L2? Oh, I slowed it down. I just want this absolutely massive... I felt like I got back to Guilty Gear Strive for a second. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, okay. Grab him, knock him down. Meaties. Damn, that's some pressure, bro. Ooh, ho, 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 that could have sucked. Nice counter hit. Man grab. Ooh, the frame trap into the not huge combo. He didn't, I don't think he had his stance ready yet. Battery just missed it. One thing that I do wish was that one of the slashes that he has out of stance was fast enough because he has the H follow up where he just smashes down to the ground but I don't like that um oops I mean I guess it does combo but it has short range like it would be really nice if you could properly hit confirm like um 228 like use the EX version 2-2-H, like, far medium slash, as an even medium slash, far medium, into 2-2-H, and then, like, the light or medium follow-up. I think the light version is the mid one, and the medium is the low. I wish he was able to do that. Just so it gives you an option that you can do off of his far medium. But what do I know? Oh, I forgot. I don't think I'm hiding anything. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to do this every single time, huh? Damn, this Percival color, though? My lord. This is some sci-fi shit. Ooh, okay. I see you. Some reset potential on that. I think you could have killed off that. Why are you dashing at me, bro? I hope Vasaraga has a scythe like that, though. If it looks like that, I really want one. Like, see, doesn't... Per like, my first thing that came to mind, doesn't Percival look like a character out of Tron or some shit? Good block. Ooh, the Clash? What a hit confirm. Okay, so that does cross up, but I feel like you probably won't be able to hit confirm that into anything. And in fact, is likely punishable, thanks to how high up in the air it hits. Yeah, I don't like... I really wish that they switched around. Ooh, you can either... I didn't know that he dashed forward like that, so you can either Kara that, or he automatically dashes forward on the EX version. But I wish they made it so that the downward slash only comboed on an airborne opponent, which... Uh, retains its juggle properties that is already used in his combos and made it so that it didn't work on grounded opponents but then you get like the light version will combo off of stance cancels that would be really nice these matches are going by quickly is this I mean I guess we can't find out because that the, one of the first things that I thought about when it came to Guilty Gear Strive was like I could see a world in which the average round length for Guilty Gear is like 10 seconds because of just how obscenely high the damage output is in that game. 
And so, like, there's no way, even if it's not quite that low, it's not quite that extreme, there's no way that game in tournament is not going to wind up being 3 out of 5. It has to if they keep the damage output that's in that game. But this game, I feel like this game would also be, would wind up being 3 out of 5. Because these rounds are, they're very fast paced. Dagger pressure. Oh, we just get. Oh, okay. We just keep to get going. We just get to keep going. Sorry, forgot how to English for a second there. He's dead. Is she using a fish? Oh, this is the DLC character. No wonder she's so broken. They gotta sell season passes. I see you, Arc System Works. What in the world did I just see? Darn. I was hoping there was a rewind, because I kind of want to see that combo over again. Whatever. I can just rewatch the video. So I think he juggled off a normal version of the projectile. Bap. Home run. That's actually really dirty now that I think about it. Since you can cancel that stance into the command grab, it's basically a mix up to just let the stance keep going. Because they either have to call out that you're going to do uh, the command grab and try to jump, but if you they don't if you don't do the command grab and you try to jump, then you just get hit by the stomp and ideally the Vasaraga hit confirms. It's kind of nasty. character already there are so many characters like just by their aesthetic design i hate charlotte is one of them i can already tell you like i've never even heard her voice before i don't even know what she sounds like i promise you i'm not gonna like it yeah i want to hit it just smack it so hard that they got to seal the jaw shut for a while Retaliation there. Well done. Oh, is there going to be armor? Not enough. Wait, there what? Damn! That was sick! Oh, oh I think he could have hit confirm that. Yo, this poor dude is getting dunked. Get outclassed. These matches really are going by. Like, isn't this the fifth match so far? And it's not even 10 minutes. And I keep accidentally pausing because I want to just skip this. Oh my god. It even got the text scroll thing at the bottom. And so I just automatically... Oh, no, that's just the fourth match. But still, that's like... 2 minutes, 15 seconds per match. That's super fast. This game would definitely be 3 out of 5. If this is... 
representative of the game pace as a whole, this would 100% be a 3 out of 5 game. That's kind of weird for a game to, like, it feels slow. But, ah, oh, shit, what did I just do? I was gonna say, that looks probably punishable. Oh, and he even gets to pop the armor power up. And then get. I shouldn't say armor. I don't actually know if it's armor. But he gets to pop the power up. <laughs> Just cut his feet off. Uh, and still get a meaty afterwards. That's strong. Oh, that sucks that it didn't land. It looks like that's punishable, too. Based off of what I just saw. I think if he had used the low version, he would have gotten the hit. Oh, that's a bummer. Field spell looks pretty cool, aside from his projectiles. I hate those. That uh, pressure looks obnoxious. No command grab, huh? Respecting his wake-up options. little belly poke. Ooh, nice armor. Uh, does he... Like, when he does that little swirly thing, see that. But he never actually sent anything out, like the boss in arcade mode was doing. So, does he... Is he able to power something up and store it away for later? Is it kind of like a stance that he can summon things from? Not sure. And I will never be sure because he's DLC law. Every single fighting game developer that exists should make it so that when you release DLC characters. Oh, what a react. That was sick. Well done. Um, if you release DLC characters, they should be unlocked in training mode, no matter what. So the players can try them out, they can learn them, they can understand them. Because you, when you make a fighting game, it doesn't matter what your intentions really are. You are inherently making a player versus player competitive game. And so that competitiveness requires understanding the characters. And so you should have the characters unlocked in training mode so the players can learn the characters properly. Plus I feel like it's only going to, well, I guess it goes both ways. Right? Like, inevitably, somebody's going to try the character that would never have bought it, and is like, whoa, this character's sick, I'm going to buy this now. But there are also people that would just impulse buy any DLC character, but now they don't have to, they just go into training mode, try them out, and they're like, ah, oh, never mind, fuck this character. Okay, my... Like, wow, that looks frustrating as hell to deal with. She's actually mine. She even has the same twirl, staff twirl, into throwing the projectile. Like, this character has straight up stolen half of Mai's moves. Design originality, by the way. I know Sora's, as well, has been, like, shown to have a bunch of Asriel's animations, which Asriel himself has a bunch of kanji animations from Persona 4 Arena. Why make new animations if you can just keep recycling all your old ones? Ooh, he 
auto corrects. That was a good stance, whatever that is, by the Zeta player, though. So does Vasaraga not have a good anti air? Because that looks like something that should be anti aired for free. Ooh, get shimmy. This is gonna hurt. The empty jump. No hit confirmed, though. You screwed up. You let the big boy out to play. Oh, never mind. He's dead. I don't know if he's dead, dead, but he, he, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, now she just zones out. His ankle's cut out from under him. Vasaraga's neutral. Needs a lot of work. You know, I'll be real with you for a second. This might be the first game that I've played, like the first anime-based game that I've played, where I really don't got no waifu in here. Like, all the females that I've seen... I'm just kind of, you know, whatever. I haven't seen all of them, to be fair. Also, what a stupid criticism of a game to have. <laughs> well, that's what it just popped up. Like, Matera's trying way too hard. And then Zeta, it feels like, you know, like she's kind of intended to be appealing. And just don't do it for me. Oh, is it the same person? Did, I, did we already watch this one? Or is it just... Because these are definitely the same exact costumes. But I can't remember. This is I'm pretty sure this is a different match. Because I don't think in the first one that we saw, I don't think the Vasaraga ever got pushed to the corner like this. I could be wrong though. Is that an overhead? That's why people are getting hit by the low. If that is an overhead, then that explains why. So, that's nasty, actually. He can go, he can use a low attack, a high attack, a command grab, or that, that has armor. That's pretty nasty if you get stuck and he has that available. Good low. He would have been able to continue that combo too. Yeah, Vasarag is definitely... He's looking strong. Um... I f he's probably like a really polarizing... Like, the first one that comes to mind... Is... Honda. In Street Fighter. Where... Most of his matchups feel like he either blatantly wins... Or he blatantly loses. There's not really any middle ground. So, like... Vasaraga is going to struggle hard against characters like Fairy's probably one of them too, right? She's a pretty like decently mid mid to far ranged character using her whip attacks. Matera, the zoner, beals above with his projectiles. Vasaraga probably struggles pretty hard against those characters. But against characters that don't have those kinds of options. Oh, I did turn that one off. Oh, Jesus. Um like that. Fairy should not have just brought that ass beating to her, but she did, and now she's in trouble. Like, you did Vasaraka's job for him. Just brought him right in and said, hey, beat my ass, please. And Vasaraga obliged. Aw, that thing's adorable. I want one of those. She's just dead. I think. Well, 
Didn't get to see much of that matchup. Vasaraga just got in and he never left. He got in and he stayed in. He paid some rent. Got squatters rights, maybe? I don't know. But he done bodied that boy. Um, We haven't seen a grand, actually, have we? Ooh, let me... Eh. I was going to say, let me see the Lediva. But they lost. There we go. I do hate that, though. I genuinely hate that they spoil the match results. Um, they should make, I mean, like I said, every other replay system that I've seen always has a button that you can press to see the results, but they never just show the results automatically. And so it's a little, it's a little sad that you already know who won just because it tells you. Believe in victory. I think I've done that too. You see that liked over there in the right? Oh, can I just take that away? Can I remove the like? Let me bring the menu back. There is no unlike option. I think I've liked about half the replays because I keep pressing that to get rid of the menu. This is the one that Vasaraga lost, right? I'm not blind. Damn, Ladiva's slow. Wow, that's a shitty dash. It's a combo of that? She, sorry. That's just instant. Like, there's no gap there in that strength. You just get 360. I assume that's a 360. It's probably half circle, actually. But yeah, I mean, you just get command grab. It's not like Tager, where there's, like, in general, or, like, most grapplers. There's kind of, like, a notable pause in their pressure before they can activate a command grab. But that was literally just, like, that move was canceled, essentially, into the command grab. And it worked. Nice. The one character in the cast that Vasaraga can out neutral. Good patience. Ladiva's done. Never mind. I'm gonna say Ladiva's done running this shit. But see, like this right here. Are we back in 2009 when everybody's just. They're playing their first fighting game ever. Empty jump 360s still work? I guess, I don't know if that's a 720. There's no way they put a 720 into this game. But see, like, that removes all the tension. We've already been spoiled. We know the Ladiva wins. That should have been a tense moment. That should have been, like, can Ladiva bring this back? Is it possible? Is it? Are they at too much of a deficit? I don't know what's going to happen here. But instead, it's just... Is that Catalina? I'm not sure who that is. No, it's not Catalina, because Catalina's the brunette. I gotta learn a whole new cast, man. I hate learning characters. She oh, that's the new DLC character, right. I'm hungry. But I hope that, I mean, almost every single one of these matches so far has been super one-sided in general. It's just, it feels like one person basically gets in, and then they never find, it a, find a way to get out. The other player never finds a way to get out. So I hope that's not really representative, and there is... I think that's just a punish... not really a punishment, uh, a consequence where it feels like nothing's really punishable in this game. And so... All the risk has to come from the person on defense. I also don't like that function. Where if you tech a bit later than normal, you still get knocked down and you're at a disadvantage. Congratulations for not getting thrown. You're still gonna get punished, though. Just because you were... You know, like, 10 frames too late.
Vassaraga, oh, I was going to say, this Vassaraga is playing well, though, but that was a really good reaction. Just saw the armor, instantly activated the super, can't armor through that. Tries to armor through, just gets in vulnerability instead. This character's combos are nasty. Now, so far, hers and Zeta's. Oh my god, this person on point with their supers. I mean, they were kind of on point with their um, reversals in general, because they landed a fair few normal DPs as well. It's a good player. And they better be good players, they're the highest ranked players around. Yeah, damn, man. I'm liking it. Honestly, I'm liking it more than I thought I would've. So, it's a good thing I bought it. It's a good thing Guilty Gear was so shit that it led me to buy this game. Because I think, I think I'm going to enjoy this.